Good afternoon, I almost said morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. We're kind of having a Monday-ish Monday, just getting back into the swing of things, just getting the vlog up. Now Peter's working and James is taking a nap. It's not too bad outside today. I think the high is like 58. Um, I know we have some catching up to do after our fun weekend, but hopefully we will also get outside. little adventure. So he woke up from a nap. He was not thrilled when he woke up. Thinking it might be the canines that are coming in. But he seems to be better now that he's in the car and cruising. Alright, bittersweet news. So, I'm concluding this chapter of life with Orange Theory Fitness. For now, I have another month. I had to go fill out some paperwork to like say I was ending my membership. Uh, Training is changing format, and I don't think right now Orange City Fitness is what I need. I learned a lot. I can tell I gained muscle. I gained strategy on how to work out. I'm going to get some free weights for the house between now and when I do join back up Orange City Fitness, but for $175 a month um, for the next, you know, they would, have, they, they would have allowed me to take a one month break, but I need more like a six to 10 month break. So I just went ahead and canceled that membership. We'll start it back up again when it's the right time. Um, so it's bittersweet. I'm excited for my training to change, but I am excited to not see the same people, but I have four more weeks of it, five more weeks of it. James, you tell them my secret. We're in Whole Foods because dad messed up getting fancy drinks for Sarah when we were in Michigan with the Earhart's. So we're gonna pick up a little something fancy for mom as a special vacation drink on a Monday. All right, it took a little longer than expected, but we got the goods. There's James, there he is. <laughs> There's the happy kid. He's been not in the happiest mood ever since he woke up from his nap. We don't know if he just wasn't feeling good, woke up on the wrong side of bed, maybe his canines are coming in. But he loves his tent. Where'd Jamesy go? <laughs> oh, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> for dinner tonight we're doing leftover ooh fideo fogging up the camera and then these vegetable samosa burritos from trader joe's super easy I just <laughs> microwave them i'm sure they would be even better in the oven but that was just not in the cards tonight so I'll let you know how they are james are you a fan of the samosa Burrito. He ate half mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> like legitimately, he. This is the last half. Mhm. Mm Loved it. We haven't watched Encanto in a long time, so he's smitten. Is anybody else out of energy for the day? <laughs> I am. I am. I am. Oh my goodness! Look at Daddy. Look at Daddy over there. Look at him. Get him. Oh, sweetheart. Are you going to lock me out? Hi, girly. Are you a good girl? I'm just wasting time. <laughs> I got to go start. I, I promised myself I would finish the boys' room today. I tricked James into being a little kid in a tent watching a movie. What are you doing? Watching Toy Story, Time Forgot? You look like a cute little kid laying on your stomach watching a movie. The nursery refresh is almost done. We still have things that need to like 
find a home or go back into long-term storage or like really won't be used until Teddy's here that are gonna live in here. So it's not perfect, but it's much better than it was. Excuse any dust or whatever. We'll still do like a big cleaning once we're like truly done. Um, but this, I wasn't sure how much would like fit in these drawers and really just newborn zero to three fits. So we are gonna put like our three to six month stuff back in storage as well as what he just got out of like I guess 12 to 18 months so that's this as well as some winter stuff this um our new car seat can actually have a newborn so this is like that insert our we just took up our Christmas mat um so yeah mostly clothes needs to go back into storage these things still need to find a home my other pump is in there. A, a couple of other things that I'll be giving to Christina, um, or returning to Christina rather, are in that. And then our car seat needs to get back in our car. This is the bassinet and docketot. And then these drawers are totally Teddy's clothes. So here are blankets and swaddles, pajamas, white, under onesies, then hats in regular onesies, and then bottoms, shoes, socks, mittens, jumpsuits, some um, like summery stuff. So really like filled, filled pretty well. Everything fit very nicely. So like I said, just newborn and then zero to three and the newborn stuff is on top and then we'll be able to situate it um, as he grows. I didn't do any sort of time lapse or like in process shots of doing that because I was just like so in my head of like how I wanted it to be organized. We're really making the most of our small space and our small amount of storage. Even over here, you can see like we still need our seasonal stuff to go back in that closet as well as some things need to go into long-term storage and I'll feel awesome once all of that is done but we truly in this apartment have three closets one in our room which is all of our clothes and then this closet is all of our seasonal stuff so all of our decorations um and then our bathroom closet is basically everything else like jackets we don't use just like towels anything like that so we only have three closets in our whole apartment so this is all organized now, just James. The day bed is all Teddy and we should be able to function much more efficiently now. And then once I get like my little cart organized and whatnot, totally I'll be sharing that as well. And then we'll probably do like before Teddy gets here, like, uh, like what we're packing for the hospital and just kind of like, a video all about what we've prepared for Teddy. But for now, this is just in progress. What we work on little by little so that we're not overwhelmed and that we're prepared because, I mean, honestly, it can probably come anytime I'm close enough. I'll be 37 weeks Wednesday. I have a checkup tomorrow, um, but I feel good. I feel like we really took a turn in the past couple of weeks and I'm just like, I'm somebody who needs to, to plan ahead and to prepare. And we're getting to a place where I feel like if he came, we'd be ready. Before I finish up this little baby organization part of the vlog, I wanted to share the Moses basket. So this will be basically like our little changing area. This is a Vava. My best friend Lauren told me that she used this. Um, and basically it's just like a little nightlight that um, I will use probably even when I'm feeding or whatever, it's battery operated. And so once like I actually use it more, I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, and then just a, a little organizer, like it was left over from the drawers. I'm gonna keep lotions and potions here. This is, remember when I mentioned 
the other day about having the slides of my dad's like childhood photos. This is like the projector screen. Again, small apartment, gotta make use of your space. So that, that just lives here until further notice. But yeah, simple little dresser, bassinet, new baby area in our room. I still don't have my hair cut. The, I think the plan is, because Sarah's got a check up with Teddy tomorrow, right after work. Um, I think the game plan is I'm gonna get an appointment for Wednesday right after work. But we were in desperate need for a kitchen refresh. So I just spent a good two hours in the kitchen, um, kind of getting that ready, getting that all tidied up. I think Sarah fell asleep putting James on because I have not seen her since bath time an hour and a half ago. Um, but I just want to let you guys know about this little trip or training modifications. Um, so Sarah and I had like a very productive and grown up week last week and we came to some conclusions. We're going to change some of those non-Disney trips that we had planned for the rest of the year. And what I mean by that is we're pretty much not going on them. Um, we realized after we, we had never booked like travel and everything and some of the accommodations and car rentals, it was going to be a lot of money, a lot, a lot more than what we initially thought the budget would be. And everything we were looking up, we kept thinking, that's going to be an awesome trip or an experience, but can we do that again? And how is that going to affect the down payment we will have for a house early next year? So we were responsible and we decided to cut a bunch of the trips um, for the rest of the year. Fortunately, that meant uh, we are cutting Squamish 50-50 uh, this August. I'm super bummed because I've like looked up to that race for a few years now. Um, but if it's not the right time, it's not the right time. Maybe I'll we'll do it when the boys are a little older and they can help crew me, when they can help me get ready. So that was one of the reasons why we canceled Orange Theory as well, because the intent of that was to get some CrossFit. I am going to still do CrossFit training through like a Peloton app or um different kinds. I'm going to buy some weights for home so I can still take some of those like body weight movements I learned at Orange Theory and continue that at home to cross train because it's super important for long distance runners. And I'm still going to be a long distance runner. I'm still signed up for Dopey. Um, I think I'm going to do two Chicago halves to get some speed work on, get to better corrals with um, some half marathon times. And I can do local ultras too. So um, I know there's one in like the northwest part of Illinois and then like central southern Illinois, there's some ultras like 100 kilometer ones that um, I'm going to look up and look into about doing this year. Something that would be more like a weekend road trip, like one or two nights kind of a thing, not a fly to British Columbia for a week and stay at hotels and rent, rent cars and get passports and multiple, multiple long flights. But um, I want to give you that update since I know I mentioned it earlier. And also, I'm you know, going to pat myself, Sarah and myself on our back because we, a few of like the big baby things we bought for James, we bought with such good intention, like great intention. Like we hoped we spent a little bit more money then, saved a little bit more, more money then, budgeted more then, had Sarah do a couple freelance jobs with specifically like that this job, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to pay for this thing and that's going to last us multiple children and i was looking at the bugaboo which is our bigger stroller website to see if we need any replacement pieces or new accessories and sarah getting teddy's and james's room ready big things like bassinets car seats strollers even the baby monitor we bought had came with two cameras and we've only been using one but now we have a second one all in one interface so i'm just excited that like all those big ticket items um we've been able to take care of and store or bought with good quality intent that it has lasted us through James, um, that we can continue to use for Teddy. So we're, I'm just grateful that we were able to do that at that time. Um, cause it's not always the easiest. I don't know. It's now like 10 30. I should probably see if Sarah is asleep or if James has really been giving her a run, but I think he was pretty pooped. So I, I think they both fell asleep in there. 
And then I don't know if we're going to watch TV or a movie or go to bed or... I don't know. Today I'm rocking Athletic Brewing Company Run Wild IPA. Pretty good. Also, she popped up halfway through that shot to hang out with me. Are our Christmas lights still up? Yes. Alexa, Christmas off. It's good to be home. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. We had a slow start this morning, and Tarzan is our movie that we're on for our Disney movie chronological watch. And I, maybe I just never realized how traumatizing some of these movies, movies are. Evie's hanging out with us, getting belly rubs this morning. I did a lot of tidying. Peter took donations out. He took garbage out. And we're just doing some quiet play before nap time. It's a little bit later than usual. So I've mentioned this before, but James, he doesn't have like a specific nap time. It's all based on when he wakes up. So we found it best that like after five and a half hours of him being awake, that is when we go down for a nap. So today we slept in later than usual. We had a really slow morning. And I don't know if it'll be that big of an issue, but the boys actually plan on coming with me today to my 37 week checkup. Not come inside, Peter can come inside, but they aren't allowing children for visits. So, why thank you. Yeah. But we were just gonna like, kind of be on the further north side for dinner and just the rest of the day. It's gonna be in the 40s. Um, but still, my appointments, my appointment got moved from Thursday to today, and it's not until five o'clock. So because Peter's done with work at four, we're all gonna just go up together. So we'll see with him having a later nap if he'll wake up in time. Um, but it should work out, it should, it should work out. Well, this is, this is pretty cool. But yeah, we just kind of had a, a little bit more quiet day than usual. It's been nice. One hour later. My plan to put him down 20 minutes earlier backfired. Clearly, our five and a half hour wake window is there for a reason. I swear, like, I found that five and a half hours works best. Five hours and 10 minutes. Good afternoon. I already started Oh, snap. Well, my work day is basically done in like 10 minutes. What? Somebody didn't nap. So we don't know. We're about to decide soon here if, if James and I are going to go with, with Sarah to her teddy appointment or not. Yes. What do you want? This? Sure. Oh. Is that cool? You're so cute. <laughs> We are just about at my midwife's office. Jamesy did fall asleep, so that is good. And it's just a checkup. My goal today will be to film the heartbeat because I've forgotten the past a couple times. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to share that. All right, so we have Sarah. She'll give an update later about how that went, but everything went well. Um, we're at, I think it's pronounced Kalish. It's a, a vegan restaurant that, or like a deli that Jane, I wanted to bring James to when Sarah was in Florida for that weekend. What are we in? Uptown. We're in Uptown. We're in Uptown. We're on, what is this? I don't know. Wilson and it's a mystery. We're on Wilson. Yeah, I'm Malden. Um, so this place up until 8, so we're going to go in, it's all vegan, we're going to get some stuff, we're all starving, James woke up from his nap, so let's go get some, a new vegan place. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. Ooh. Oh, so the deli is over there. This is the diner. Okay, we ordered, we were a little flustered, I took a really long time, Peter got a fist. City, Chicago Pale Ale. 
I got this Dr. Brown's black cherry. I'm so excited. James is gonna start with a cookie. We're gonna have to come back when it's nice out and we can sit outside. They have a whole cold case. Yummy stuff, cheesecake bar, hummingbird cake. All kinds of yummy pop and salads to take home. Wow, and full cakes. So it's a bakery and a deli. So many more cookies, baked goods. So it looks like the like the deli portion next door is not open right now. Um, but their menu is really big and so, so yummy. So it was a little far away, so I'm gonna put a link to their website in the description if you wanna check out their full menu. We got clucker nuggets for Jamesy. I got a clucker sandwich, which is like Korean inspired. And Peter got, I forget what you got again. Jack. Oh, uh, like a jackfruit, like cold barbecue. Barbecue sandwich, and we all got those. Here is my old jack, looks so good! It looks so good. It was, so little, it was really fast, it was like not even four minutes. Here's Jamesy's chicken nugget with some ranch, all mm -hmm. vegan, and then Sarah's Korean barbecue chicken. Yeah, and then we also got a side of like cold barbecue salad. Nice. Ready to dive in? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Jump out of there, James is getting restless. Here's the neighborhood, Sheridan Park, uptown, beautiful, beautiful. It is getting chilly here because uh, Chicago doesn't have to do with its life. It's almost May, people, and it's 40 degrees. It's 30 in the night times, and it snowed last week. <sighs> but we have a new baby coming soon. Yeah, and hopefully by then. I would hope, but that's only three weeks away, Sarah. <laughs> it could snow seven more times between now and then. Snow. Snow. We are home, and my 37 week checkup was super straightforward. Basically, just talked about what to do when I go into labor and make sure I'm registered at the hospital, make sure we have childcare in place for James, um, and basically, our plan as far as like when things get going. You can see Peter set up his iPhone to be set on the ceiling of the tent. I missed getting a clip of them watching one of the Toy Story shorts. I have to go to Target everybody. I'm just in that like, I just want to put comfy on, be cozy. Is that a Jewel? Is that closer? I Walter Mitty. Jewel's closer. Does that have, have everything you need? All right, James, we gotta run the jewel really quick to grab a milk and some other things really quick, okay? Simple trip, just getting some deodorant and some milk. Um, ooh, Senora Vespa. I was hoping to find the Nitro Pepsi because Megan and Katie texted us saying Sarah had to try it, but it was not there. And I don't know if I want to go to a Walgreens or anything right now since we're just walking, but we'll find it soon. <laughs> he just learned how to let go when Peter throws him. Dancing, dancing, dancing. <laughs> it's good to be home. We're in that like serious 
feeling of being torn between just going to bed. Come on, just take my food. Walter, Mitty, and our room. I just, can you see my eyes? It's good to I, be home. On our way to dinner, I was yawning like every 10 seconds. Yeah, let's, let's go to bed. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.